Yes, sir. I'd like you to meet our next contestant. Would you come in, please, sir? <laughs> now, you'll have to listen closely. This young man talks fast. Would you tell us, please, what your name is and where you are from? Michael McNamara. Where are you from, Michael McNamara? Crown Point, New York. He's from Crown Point. Now, Michael McNamara from Crown Point, if you'll whisper your secret to me, we'll show it at once to the audience at home. Now, let me uh, transmit this, Miss Boswell. Hmm? All right. Panel will help classify Mr. McNamara's secret. It concerns something he can do. And, Bess, we'll start with you. Michael, can you put that cowlick down on the back of your head? <laughs> <laughs> cowlick? That's there. this back here. Ah, oh, Michael, this thing you can do. Um, it, was there anybody else mentioned in your secret, by the way? No. no? Just yourself. Is it a physical thing? Some yes. kind of sport. Uh, uh, it's athletic in, in, in nature, but not an, or, not an organized sport by mm -hmm. any matter of means. $20 down, $60 to go. We go to Derwood Kirby. Is this a feat of strength by any chance, Sonny? Mm, yes. Somewhat. It is? Uh, is uh, this uh, concerned with lifting something? No. No? Uh, is it... Con $40 down, $40 to go, and we go to Betsy. Michael, uh, do you do this with one part of your body more than others, and why are you holding ballet yeah, shoes? Holding your ballet shoes. <laughs> Next question, please. $60 down, $20 to go, and we go, please, to Henry Morgan. Next question, please. Buzz the buzzer. Next question, please. Do you, would you believe me that I don't have a clue? <laughs> you weren't going to say, is he a ballet dancer? Nah, I wouldn't say that. That's too bad because he isn't. <laughs> I thought I'd catch you off base. Panel, this is quite a remarkable young man. His secret is that he can do a tap dance while standing on his hand. You have seen professionals do this, but this young man is 13 years old, a neighborhood boy, and somewhat untutored, although you must have learned it somewhere. Who, where'd you first see this? Well, I'll tell you. And then an old guy at the county fair, he just taught me how to do it. That was all there is to it. An old guy at the county fair? Mm -hmm. Geez, it must have been tough for an old guy to do this. Uh, how old was this old guy? Oh, about 30. <laughs> I just lost whatever affection I had for him. Why don't you go out front and limber up while I get some of your gear? Just limber up. <laughs> All right, buddy. Here we go. Now, first, what do I hand you first? This. Oh, your arm piece? All right. I dreamt I went standing on one hand in my maiden form arm piece. There you are. <laughs> and now what do you get next? Your dentures? Mm -hmm. All homemade equipment, by the way. There you go. And uh, remember, now this guy's self-taught. Stand by. For... Uh. Huh? First things first, that's a boy. All right, you ready? Betsy says he's tidy, too. He puts everything away. <laughs> These are his tap dancing mittens, and they actually have little uh, tap heels tied to them there. And the young man is going to dance for us. Can't get it on? 
I need to... Cut it out of your hair. Can't get it on now. Oh, you make it. You make it. So. Take it easy. There you go. All right. Now, if we may have the recording, please, you'll find this gentleman also has a sense of, of rhythm. Right? Let's go. I ever shook hands and got a footprint in my hat. <laughs> Michael, thank you very much. Your Bristol Myers gift package and your money be waiting off stage, all right? Oh, On both feet, off. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, may we have our next contestant, please? Now, would you tell us your name and where you're from? Michael McNamara from Crown Point, New York. This is Michael McNamara from Crown Point, New York. I know what Crown Point is. Panel, if any of you happens to recognize Michael, either by looking at him or if you remember his name, this is his second appearance on I've Got a Secret. He's back with us again, of course, because he has an entirely new secret. And Michael, if you'll whisper it to me, we'll tell the people at home what it is. Do you mind, in uh, view of what you just said, if I cross my fingers, because this may be one of those nights? Uh, <laughs> well, all I can tell you is this is something that Michael can do and is going to do. Really? But you have to figure out what it is, so, um, Betsy, dear, why don't we start with you? Again? All right. Why not again? Michael, um, <laughs> is this something that you did before when you were here? No. Is this something that maybe had been done to you, though, when you were here before? No, ma'am. No. You're going to do it... Well, you look like a magician, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can't be Halloween. It's too close to Christmas, isn't it? Yes. Maybe. Uh, is it something to do with the reason why you're wearing that outfit? Mm, no. You mean you just dressed up like that to <laughs> set us off our beaten track here. All right. Does it... Uh, are you going to do it alone? Yes. You're going to do it uh, right well. Something's peeking out of the curtain. That's twenty dollars down, sixty to go, and we go to Davy Wayne. <laughs> uh, is this something? Uh, th th this thing that you're going to do is it physical? Something physical? Yes. Um, is it acrobatic in any sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, are you going to do it alone? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, are you going to use uh, the equipment to, to assist you? Yes. You know, uh, Michael, you could make those answers a little longer if you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Would uh, this equipment uh, uh, cause you to do strenuous things? Yes. Uh, would it have to do with lifting weights, perhaps? If... No. Uh, I think that's very good. You want to keep going? Maybe you can make it shorter than that. <laughs> That's 40 down, 40 to go, and we go to Bess Meyerson. Well, Michael, David seems to have gotten very close to it. Now, is this a feat that is unusual for a boy your size? Yes. Mm -hmm. and uh, I would like to add to that, Michael, because uh, uh, you wouldn't because you're modest. It's unusual for anybody of any size. Really? Let's put it that way, yes. And uh, is there anything that you have to hold in your hand when you do this, or are you free? Yes. Yes, what? I am free. You're free. Yes, ma'am. Is it some kind of trampoline? No. You're going to swing from something? No. Well, I really don't quite know what it could be, Billy. <laughs> well, you have to understand, they don't know, you know. Yeah? Uh, that's 60 down, 20 to go. He's going to fly. Billy Cullen, you're the last Maybe hope we have. I'd like to say good evening, because it's the first time I've been on tonight. <laughs> Go ahead, Hambo. All right, now, could this, uh, Michael, is this the kind of thing you might do at a circus? Is it a circus-type act? Yes. Does it require great strength? 
truly. Yes, it does. You are going to hold Henry's breath for six minutes. <laughs> But there's a lion If I were you, I wouldn't dignify that with an edge. <laughs> I noticed the similarity, uh, Henry, of costumes. Uh, Michael is dressed not unlike the... A lion. <laughs> Say, that's very interesting, Bill. That's $80 down. Nowhere to go. You've lost. Look, you're going to be fascinated with this. I guarantee you. You want us to lose. When Michael was 13 years old, he was on this show, and he tap danced on his hands. He's aged. <laughs> no, he's just about made 16, isn't it? Yes. Just about made 16, just barely over the wire. Now, he does something that you have never seen anybody do, with the possible exception of one man, you know. if you've gone to the circus. Somebody you know. was right up close to that. Right. That's it. Right. You've got the idea. Michael can and will stand on one finger. to tell you, uh, we've been here, you know, we rehearsed it twice. I don't believe it. I've seen it. I've stood right there. Wait, Mike, um, since you've been here, which is about two and a half, three years, uh, I imagine you've uh, rehearsed a lot or whatever? Yes. What is it? Quite a bit. Oh, I'm got to... Who taught you to do this trick? Uh, a friend of mine named Al Meadow, who was a hand balancer. Does he do the trick? No. <laughs> but he taught you? Yes, he did. Good luck, Al. Uh, do you practice a lot? Yes, about a half an hour to an hour each day. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we will see what this practice has resulted in. Would you open the curtains, please? Go right ahead, Mike. He does, can, and will stand on one finger. tell you too that the uh, the revolving that Mike does I, as far as I know he's the only person who does that that's not electric I mean there's no motor there that turns him he turns himself and now Mike that you've done that I think it's time for you to um, hop down if you will I couldn't even climb up that thing. Thank you. 